Okay, I have a Garmin. Um, it's a Garmin GHP 10, uh, 2.1 liter um, hydraulic pump for a uh, Garmin autopilot system. And basically what happened is we were, we were going downwind pretty, pretty good and um, there was about a three foot swell. And basically the motor was working really, really hard trying to account for, you know, going down the swell back up and making turns. So I think what happened, it may have overheated and um, the epoxy came loose on one of the magnets on inside of the motor here. Um, when I took it off, this is what I, what I found. Basically, uh, the little aperture thing was worn a bit and there was a magnet in here broken. And what we did was we cleaned everything up really well. We scratched the surface, the inside of the casing. We re-epoxied the magnets back into position and then um, basically now we just got to put it back together. Now, the tools that you're going to need to take this thing apart are pretty simple. You'll need a, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a 5 16 Allen wrench, and a 4 millimeter um, Allen wrench. Okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reinstall this unit or, or reassemble the unit because we fixed the magnets that broke and uh, this all looks pretty good. It's not, uh, it's not worn that much, so we're going to keep it like it is. It's probably going to work just fine. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with reassembling the bearing opposite of the uh, brush side. And basically, it's this particular, there's two different bearings. One, this, the one that goes into the brush side of the pump or the motor um, is a smaller bearing than the one that goes on the hydraulic side. So I'm going to, now when I took this apart, there were four washers on the, um, there were four washers, probably spacers, just to adjust the, the alignment. And there was also a spring washer on the top. So it goes just like this. Just pay attention as you take this, uh, this motor apart, this is how it's, gonna, how it's gonna go back together, or how it comes apart needs to be how it goes back together. And basically this bearing just slides right over here it's nice and tight okay and be careful as you reinstall these washers into the housing here okay it may even be easier to put the washers on first okay now I've got this on and I've got all the bearings and everything in place everything sliding nicely so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the um, the motor back together now I've noticed that the way this the way this goes on the motor and it doesn't look like there's that much difference in where the magnets are placed on the inside here. But I remembered that the Garmin was, the Garmin label was on the same side as the hydraulic pump. So I know this is the side the hydraulic pump mounts to. I'm going to actually install it into the motor on this side. Okay, just like so. Now, I've got to align the pump so that uh, the grooves, the, the spacers in the magnet are lined up with my holes here, okay, that I connect this whole thing back together with. What we can do is go ahead and put the, um, the, the bolts that hold the motor together in. Make sure they're in place along the and these magnets are really strong, just like so. And I'm going to do the exact same for the other side. Again, these magnets are really keeping it apart. And then I'm going to figure out where the alignment is for this. Okay, and here's the two holes. You'll see there's four holes, but one of them is probably just to, there's a, probably some sort of set screw to hold the um, the brush holder in place. So I know that's not going to be where I need to put it. Um, also, the label was on the top of the motor and the cable for the Garmin was actually on the bottom of the motor. So this is kind of the, the position this is going to be placed. So sort of like this. So the label's up, the cable is down, and I'm just going to 
I get that, that bearing has to slide into a space. And then I just um, then I just screw it in and, and get the motor put right back together. You may have to wiggle it just a little bit to figure out where that hole is. So I'm just going to do a little bit on each side until I get it all back together. Flip it over and do the other side a little bit. And it'll slide in there nice and neat. Nice and tight. Okay, we're just going to spin the motor, make sure she spins okay. There's no, 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 loose, uh, no loose areas in there. And then we're going to put the top side. Now this is a... This is basically just a showing you just a uh, this is basically a position indicator for the um, the motor so that the Garmin computer knows exactly what the motor's doing um, velocity and how many turns and all that sort of stuff that's all this is this is goes on the top of the motor I'm gonna wait until last so I can make sure once I get it hooked up to the hydraulic pump that I can still twist it and it's got nice and nice nice turns in there so now it's time to um, reinstall Here's my brushes and everything. I'll just keep these over to the side because those will be the last thing I want to install. Okay, all right, so everything's back together. The motor's back together. Um, I can actually, these two bolts right here, these are for installing it on the bracket. So not a big deal. I just put these in here just to kind of uh, keep safe. And I'll go ahead and get these out of the way just so I don't have to deal with those um, in the way while I'm trying to put this thing back together. Um, okay, bearing looks good. It's nice and nice and tight in there. Looks like those washers are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And now it's time for the hydraulic installation. And it's just like you came off. Just don't, you know, it's best to try and do this all at once. Now it will be a day in between if you go and clean this thing up, take it apart and clean it back up, and um, and get it ready for the. Uh, get it ready for the magnets uh, being re-glued inside or whatever needs to be done to the motor. Okay, so I am going to now reinstall the hydraulic portion to the pump. And again, this pump has a groove on it that has to line up with the groove inside the pump here. So I'll tell you what, the easiest way to do this is going to be to take um, this portion off of the pump, off of the hydraulic part, Okay, and then kind of reinstall it, and I can see, you can't see it on the, on the phone, but I can see a groove, which direction it needs to be. And I'm just going to slide it in nice and gently, and there it goes. When you go to line the pump back up, you'll see two holes and then one tiny little, uh, little peep hole here. And if you look on the side of the, uh, of whatever they call this thing, of this particular item, You'll see there's three holes, one, one, two, and then a, a, a third hole on the top. So you just want to make sure that that little hole is lined up with that third hole. So the two holes and then the third hole on top. So it's just going to go together just like this. And then I'll push the bolts through. Again, this is the four millimeter. Allen key, Allen wrench, and this uh, this particular bolt that I'm putting in now on the back side here, it's actually going to go all the way through and attach to the motor. This is what attaches the motor. Again, when you line this up, this is the top of the the um, where the motor goes, and where the label is is the top of the motor. I'm not sure that all makes a big huge difference, but uh, I just put it back together like I found it probably the smartest thing to do and so you'll see you'll see some little holes on the bottom of the pump on the bottom of the or the back side of the motor that these bolts go through I'm just gonna put this together Get it all nice and tight. And I'm right handed, but the camera's over on the left hand side, which makes for showing not easy. Or me, 
tightening it up not very easy but sometimes you have to work with the space that you've been given I'm actually on the boat right now um, we yeah we're on the boat just like most of you will probably be on the boat these things only break when you're out using them and if you're a long ways from home then you want to make sure that you can fix it on the fly okay so I've got the um, hydraulic portion of the pump connected to the electric motor now it's just a matter of putting the electric motor back together and with putting the electric motor back together you got to put the brushes back in okay both of these brushes look good the owner tells me that there was only 60 hours on the um, on the uh, autopilot so which makes sense because the brushes looked uh, pretty pretty amazing brushes would be something I would recommend bringing with you on a an extended cruise This one's a little difficult because it's on the bottom of the pump. So it's I'm glad it's here instead of being in the bottom of the boat where it's a little more difficult to get to. It's just how the uh, it was aligned on the on the hydraulic portion. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this little uh, basically it's the sensor position motor position sensor back on the motor and again it has a groove in there you see this uh, and then the the shaft of the motor has the same groove so I'm just going to reinstall this and there's some tiny little screws in there these little bolts here And just like that, uh, the motor is back together. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back down into the hole. I'm going to reinstall it just like it was. I'm going to bleed it, and um, I may even actually put it put it on the power and make sure that it's going to pump and see if I can see some fluid coming out of it because there still should be some fluid inside. Um, that is about the extent of it. To bleed, um, I'll have a um, a little. Uh, I'll do a little tutorial on how to bleed this thing.